Hey guys, if you all did not know, I am a do it yourself -er to the max, okay? So I bought these curtains from Burlington Co Factory for about $15. And I wanna put them on the ends of the curtains that I already have. But because I'm extra and I'm just a girly girl, I found these pom-pom balls that are huge. They're like the size of a big old cotton ball. I wanna show you. Ooh. Well, this is how they look, but I wanna show you exactly how they look. Just don't, don't try this at home, don't do that. So you choke and die on plastic. <laughs> so this is how they look. So because I'm extra and I want my place to be very me and very girly and fun and I just want to feel good when I walk in, I want to glue these balls onto my white curtains, okay? All you will need are whatever curtains you want and whatever you want to put on them. They actually sell cotton balls, well not cotton balls, but pom-poms that are similar to this at the dollar store, but I didn't get these from the dollar store. I got these from a vendor online. I can't recall which one though. So all you will need is your glue gun, your glue sticks, your curtains of course, something to lay underneath the curtain because you don't want the glue to get on your carpet or your rug or you know whatever your tile. And yeah, be careful. Probably use gloves or just make sure you don't you know kill yourself with the glue gun because it will be hot in order for it to stick on. This is how it's gonna look. This is my window up there. So I already have nice sheer curtains, but I wanna put these, which are not as sheer, they're more thick. I wanna put the thicker ones on the ends. I wanna put one panel there and one panel there. And I think it's gonna look so cute with these balls stuck on it. How cute is this? Now just imagine it. I will of course show you all once I get done how it turns out. For this, you will need your glue gun. This one was about $3 at Walmart. Very simple. And you need your glue sticks. And like I said, a big cardboard. Luckily, I had just got a couch, or I just got something that came inside of this box. So I just kept the box and opened it up. All right, do it yourself time with the Sid. This is the before, very basic and plain, blah, blah. I cannot wait to see how it's gonna look. All right, so I'll let you know how it looks. So this is the final product of the curtains that I made. As you can see, I put the sheer curtains in the middle and then I put the balls on my thicker curtains and I put them on the end to add a little bit of balance and a little bit of contrast. As you can see, it turned out so, so cute. I am literally in love with them. Give you a little bit closer of a view. It turned out very cute and they're on there really good actually. Then again, the glue gun was really hot. So doing this took me all of about 40 minutes each. So 40 minutes for that one and then 40 minutes doing this one as well. When I put the balls on there, I didn't do them in a specific order. I kind of just tried to make them even in terms of placement. I didn't want to have too many in that corner and not enough in the other one. But other than that, I didn't really have a specific way that I did them. And I knew how I wanted it to look in my head, but the vision came out better than even I expected. I didn't know how it would look at first putting the sheer curtains in the middle 
but I actually really like it. And these curtains on the end that I put the balls on are blackout curtains. So even when it's light outside, you won't see the light inside. I know I'm a vampire when I'm inside the house or when it's early in case I accidentally fall asleep on my couch. <laughs> I don't get, you know, woken up by the super bright sun. So I actually really love how they turned out. I put them all the way on the bottom as you can see. And then all the way at the top as well. I've tried to keep everything silver so I have silver for both of those at the top. The rings are silver that are holding up the curtains. And I like these rings because if I wanted to change my sheer curtains to let's say another color or another sheer, all I have to do is unsnap them and then snap my new curtains onto those rings. So those rings are really a great investment. And they weren't expensive too. I got them from probably Burlington Co. Factory or one of those stores. So these are my curtains from my do-it-yourself project. Like I said, I'm in love with how it turned out. And I love Thank you all so much for watching my Do It Yourself project. Hope you all enjoyed it. Cannot wait to see how you all's projects look. If you all have tried doing this or something similar. I know this is not for everybody. <laughs> But I think it's the cutest thing ever and it goes with the rest of my decor in my house. Talk to you all later.